Hello dear friends and welcome to another electronics video. Today we're going to be multiplying two signals uh, and we're going to build a analog multiplier. So let's get started. Let's first create a new schematic sheet and let's first place a differential pair um, uh, stage. So for this differential pair we are going to need to transistors so let's go into the components take two npn transistors let's um, let's put two transistors let's also uh, reverse them mirror one of the two transistors here okay and let's supply these through two resistors here and let's say about 200 ohm resistance here and another 200 ohm resistance here and then this differential pair <clears throat> we uh it's going to to have as an input one of the inputs will be the um, the signal that we are we are going to multiply so let's create a voltage source here and place it on the input to one of the transistors so this is going to be uh, the signal that we want to to modify the amplitude the, the, um, the signal that we want to have a different amplitude according to the to the other input signal so let's set this to zero volts an amplitude of let's say one volt and the frequency so because this is the the modulated signal we're going to use a fairly high frequency 100 kilohertz for the sine wave so i'm going to take this input add it to the uh, add it to the um, differential um, pair here just connect everything together uh, also we need to supply these uh, I'm going to put here a line and add two power supplies uh, plus minus uh, let's say uh, plus minus um, let's say 12 volts uh, here and another one of 12 volts here so we can have a differential uh, supply and let's connect everything together and now we have two voltage levels a, a plus 12 volts and a minus 12 volt line so let me rename this one two plus plus 12 volts and the other one to minus 12 volts and let's take the plus 12 volts and just copy this as a label to this line and here we are going to connect just the differential pair now in order to to vary the amplification of this differential pair uh, usually here we would have a um, we would have a current mirror so let's add a current mirror here with a uh, npn transistor here and also another npn transistor here so i'm going to copy this here and also in order for this current mirror to be uh, functional we have to connect it to the lowest um, supply voltage which in our case is minus 12 volts here and also we have to limit the current going into this uh, this transistor now we can place a standard resistor here on the input and just connect the other signal we want to amplify and for this resistor let's take let me just copy this maybe i'll copy everything from here and just paste it here and just modify the um, frequency here let's modulate a one kilo uh, hertz um, signal with um, 
yeah here because we are supplying everything to 12 volts here we would need a bit more dc voltage so let's let's add like two volts here just that we have enough voltage swing to to drive the current mirror and of course complete the current mirror with a connector to base connection here and here just a limiting uh, resistor of one kilo ohm okay so the differential pair is done only one last connection to ground that we have to place here and now we have the the, the differential pair okay and then we we can just connect here so what we want is to create a differential amplifier connected to each differential pair here so i'm going to rename maybe even i'm going to draw here a line from the um, from these uh, the, this um, node and just rename this in plus or non uh, non inverting and the other one i'm going to rename in minus okay so this is all really nice we have created a cover mirror differential pair uh, we have created the power supplies for the signal let's now add a um, operational and fire so I'm going to take the um, TLV 9302 which is a really good integrated circuit I've been using it in a lot of designs okay and now we're just going to connect everything to plus 12 volts so copy 12 volts copy minus 12 volts here and now we have to create a differential amplifier which is a quite simple schematic so here we have two resistors and also another two resistors uh, on the other side i'm going to put a ground here and um, we have to to rotate some of the resistors here so this is rotated here and let's put a fairly small gain here so we can use like a, a times two gain just that we we don't uh, stress this differential amplifier that much so i we can put like 10 kilo ohm here with a 20 kilo ohm um to ground 20 kilo and of course for the other two resistors let me rotate both of them so this one rotated placed here and the other one also rotated placed here just that we we have a, a simple placement so that we can just simply connect them to to the in plus and in minus okay let's connect everything together in plus everything to ground in minus okay and of course the feedback network so the amplification of the stage is quite simple it's uh, a multiplication uh, uh, a division of the the two resistors and if they are identical uh, so if r4 r5 and r4 are identical and r6 and r7 are, are um, r5 and r6 are identical and r4 and r7 are also identical then you can consider that amplification is r7 over r6 or r4 over r5 so just quick uh, trick how to calculate the amplification for the stage now here i'm just going to run right in plus because this is the in plus node and on the other side i'm even going to copy in minus okay so we have added the operational amplifier so this looks really really good uh, let us see if this circuit works and maybe also add some maybe also add some some idea some um some transistors or uh, real transistors models here so let me just add the the 2n2222 which is a fairly good 
a transistor for this application so this would make it a bit more uh, realistic as a as a design so let's start the simulation and see what we we uh, we managed to, to build 10 milliseconds I think will be enough here and let's run the simulation okay so far so good did it run yes okay and now we see the uh, modulated signal we can see here let's zoom in a bit to see how the signal goes up and down depending on the the, um, uh, the modulated signal which is this low frequency sign here and the high frequency sign is just just the its amplitude is just varied um, according to the signal so it does a multiplication between two signals when this goes up um, so does the signal increase in amplitude okay one other thing we can do to increase this uh, this amplitude here is for for the for the modulating modulator signal which is uh, um, this one here I would like to just connect it to the lowest point because this is this should drive the lowest point in the um, in the in the circuit and let's just run it to see yeah look at this beautiful modulated signal you can see that the amplitude is much much uh, much clearer now and uh, if we take this so this is a one volt uh, uh, amplitude uh, signal so let's zoom out we can take this and we can let's say we can um, copy this module here and we just can let me remove these these are no longer needed we can further amplify the signal here and just add it to a second amplification stage here um, now this would not be connected to in minus here just to ground let's do another line here and let's put th this is one volt so let's let's amplify this 10 times so let's put a hundred kilo ohm here and see how the circuit functions now so this is at this stage here before we go into the the final amplification stage and this is the the final signal here which is much bigger and um yeah it's it's looking much more like a modulated signal so coming back just that i do a short um, center of the the schematic an analog uh, multiplier uh, modulating a um, uh, modulating two signals a low frequency sign with a high frequency sign signal uh, circuit so hope this circuit will help you in your designs and wish everybody a great day thank you for your time